Now, in my life, I have seen some crazy shit, but this by far is one of the craziest things I've ever seen in my life. So the other night, I was chilling in my bed, we just got done filming JK News, and then Joe texts me this shit like on some Instagram post. I clicks it, and I see the most gangster shit I've ever seen in my life. We in the house, y'all. I'm gonna go over here and watch y'all check over there. Oh, what's up? They got some chicken feet and hot sauce. Oh my god, that's crazy. They got some crazy shit up in here. Bitch, who is you? You better get your oh, ass yeah, down. Oh, I'm the Grim Reaper, motherfucker. Yeah, you run fast, <laughs> pussy, motherfucker. Yeah, you want some of this bitch? I am a West Side Crip, motherfucker. Yeah, tic tac toe, don't fuck with this hoe. Yeah, one for good measure, bitch. Ta! That's right, run back from the pussy you came from, motherfucker. Now, if you guys don't know about this, basically there's this Asian lady who gets her home invaded and she unloads on these motherfuckers. And I'm not talking about just a random invasion, I'm talking about there was three dudes that came into the house, had guns, was about to fuck it up. Now, before we start this article, I do have to address something. It's very interesting when I funnel through comments when a video like this or an article pops up, and the, the amount of stupidity is amazing. So the title of this in a certain article that I read was Gangster Asian Lady Unloads Clips on Blah 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 Blah. Now, people got hung up on a certain word in the title. Guess what word that was? The word was gangster, and specifically what people were saying, how dare you title her as a gangster Asian lady? She is not a gangster, she is not an affiliated gang. Listen here, you dumb piece of fuck. Gangster, when used in that context, doesn't mean that she's an affiliated gang member. It means that the Asian lady handled her shit. She was dope as fuck. What the fuck don't you understand? And listen, I get it. Not everybody hears a lot of slang, I guess. But when there are people under your comment explaining to you what it means, and it's not just the person who wrote the article, it's everybody else telling you what it is, how can you stay adamant and say, no, it was a misleading title, I thought it was a gangster. Hey, do yourself a favor, take a spoon, and stick it up your vagina. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? When I enjoy food, I call it gangster. That was some gangster ass dumplings. Are you saying my dumplings are gang affiliated? A word? You that stupid? Why don't you suck my fucking- And the reason why this article made me happy, not because she shot people and because somebody died, even though they did invade her home and they were trying to fuck shit up, because she protected her home, and on top of that, I have heard so much growing up that Asian women are submissive. What the fuck are you talking about? I did a vlog about this a while ago, but here is proof. This woman unloaded a gun, not with two hands, but with one, and at the same time was talking on the phone. Did you hear the 911 call? That shit was insane. They come in my house with a gun, and so what do I do? I teach them a motherfucking lesson, that's right, bitch. Could you imagine what she was like as an Asian mom? You don't do your homework? Want mommy to bust a cap in your ass, bitch? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Don't do your homework, don't fuck with me. Oh, mommy trying to get some dick tonight. Anybody who ever says that Asian women are weak in any any kind of way, you have never been raised by an Asian mom. I think I once got beat because my fart smelled. Like what, what, what did you expect it to smell like? So I guess this lady lives in this house with this other guy, who by the way, didn't really do much, but that's okay. In this situation, I probably would have done the same. She gets a gun, they have a firing altercation, she blasts away, three of them scatter, one person gets shot in the torso, and he passes away. Do you guys ever wonder in these type of situations what you would do, even if you had a gun? Because nobody really expects to get their home invaded, right? Which is why that topic comes up, why people have firearms in their homes for protection. And in this case, it really worked out for her. Now for me, I'm trying to think about what would happen if I was in that situation. And I kind of think I would have just got robbed. Because personally, I don't really condone violence. Do yourself a favor, take a spoon, and stick it up your I think a lot of the times too, like in our head, we always think about, hey, this is what I would do in that situation. But when it comes to the time, I, it doesn't really work out that way. One time when I was in elementary school, I had watched so many kung fu movies of a guy just standing in the middle, just super strong pose thinking to himself, Today you fuck with the wrong guy, dumb guy. And as he makes his speech, the first guy comes in, he just, shit! Three seconds later, everybody's knocked the fuck out. Now, during this time, I was about to get jumped by three people. In my mind, I played it out just the same way. The only difference was, at the end of the scene, I had my underwear up into my ass crack, a black eye, and they stole my bubble, my, my bubble tooth gum. Was it bubble tooth? Bubble mint? Either way, I got fucked up. So I'm kind of wondering, what would you guys have done? Oh, mommy trying to get some dick tonight.